Hi there, this is Clovis. I will quickly explain what's new in Physics Painter 2.0. There are quite a lot of things, so I will try to do that quickly and everything will be explained more in depth in the other tutorials. So now to create Physics Painter, you have to go into the helpers in Kinematic Lab category and create Physics Painter helper. And everything is going to be stored into um, this helper. Now to open the UI, you open Physics Painter UI, you click this button in the helper. And you have new things here. You can add multiple colliders. So I can select objects and add them as uh, colliding objects. Let's add some assets to do more things. Okay. There are some options here which are new and they will be explained in the, in the tutorials. And also you see the vertex count uh, value here, which is into this column as well is new this is uh, the optimization of the assets so it's now done automatically you don't have to do it uh, yourself so you just pick your assets and they will be uh, optimized uh, by a modifier here so you can change the vertex count from here and generate some uh, low res version and you can do that as well um, from this list so you select uh, some some assets here and change the value here press generate low and those will be optimized you see that they have different vertex counts so let's go back to 200 because it, that's a, a good mid value okay so the lower uh, the better of course so it's going to it's going to help the simulation and the brush as well now let's go to the brush options one new thing is this distance value so Let's just disable this. If I paint assets, uh, you see that uh, now it's not a it it's not one unit, it's not one scene unit that we have here. It's uh, more uh, based on each asset size. So bigger assets are going to be uh, to have a bigger distance, and smaller assets will have smaller distance. So it's really based on each asset. Uh, size and, and volume and not really on units on scene units or scene scene size so this default value of one is going to work uh, whatever size you have and whatever scene you have which is uh, way easier to manage and you can change uh, this value as well of course and can i can press shift and control left click and drag to change the value from the brush without going into the UI. Okay. And you see that uh, while I'm into this uh, this brush mode, I can go into the UI and make some changes. Okay, I'm still into brush mode. I can change anything I want. <clears throat> okay, navigate the UI, navigate Max and Max UI even here while I am still uh, into brush mode. So it's it's year easier than quitting the brush and doing some changes then starting the brush again. Okay. Uh, also, there is this checkbox to use the, the paint colors. Okay, so if I check this, it turns gray and all new assets are going to be green. You can change the colors, of course, but um, you can choose not to display those colors and keep the textures you have. Okay. Um, you also have now the ability to lock X, Y, and Z positions and rotation axis. It was only on scale on the previous version, but now it works on um, position and rotation as well. So if you do um, a random rotation on minus 180, plus 180, it's going to be, those values are going to be repeated in Y and Z if you check this. So you can uh, make random rotations like that on all axes. And that's the same for the position, for example. So the assets are more scattered around the, the brush position. Okay, the brush itself has been uh, completely rewritten. So it's now uh, way, way faster than it was before. Just let's remove those. You can really add uh, thousands of, of new assets and paint on thousands of assets under the mouth under the mouse and it's going to to work uh, much more smoothly than it was uh, on the on the previous version 
you can paint on multiple colliders assets at the same time so the brush is, is really been uh, rewritten completely and it's now much more performant there is no no real slowdown when you paint okay and one new addition and which is really cool is the ability to do control z and control y on any brush action you do uh, which doesn't look like a crazy feature but actually it's quite complicated because there are a lot of things going on into this tool so i'm pretty happy with with this okay and the brush itself is now um is now all in, in all in one brush. So before we had a, a few different buttons for different brushes, but now the main functions are into one brush. So if I press Shift and Control, I change the distance value. If I just um, just press Shift, I paint the assets one by one. If I uh, let's let's uh, activate the physics. If I press Control, I activate the assets, and they are simulated again. If I press uh, Alt and left click and drag, I will delete assets. Okay. So it's all in one brush. Okay, and I can uh, undo anything, undo redo anything. Right, let's delete the assets. Um, and the orient to surface normal and orient to brush direction are now checkboxes, so it's not a shortcut anymore. So if I add some assets like that, I can just press check this option and they will be projected along each collider's normal. And this one will orient along uh, the, the stroke okay those new things are forces so this one is the world uh, the world force the, the mass fx force so if i just uh, paint assets this one will just bring them down it's the gravity okay i can turn it off so there will be no gravity but still uh, there is a simulation so they will just move okay with no gravity this one is an attraction force so if i create some new assets when i release the mouse they will be attracted to each other at their average point okay and this force is adjustable in real time so you can increase the force or decrease it okay to have um, more gravity going on or if you go if you go negative values it will just uh, repulse them so i can attract and repulse okay this one is explosion so if i create new assets and release the mouse they will explode okay maybe the force is a bit strong now yeah it's a bit too strong let's just uh, reduce it something like that maybe yeah it's a bit better okay there is a new brush let's delete assets the drop assets brush so this is a new thing with control shift you change the radius with shift you change the height of the brush and with control you can change the number of assets that are going to be created so the assets are not painted on top of uh, the colliders surface but really on top of the brush circle okay and they will be dropped so if i just left click they will be created on the yellow dots and then they will fall down you can change the number of assets here and they fall down and collide okay um, about presets this button just restores the default values so if i change some things here and press press this button they will be uh, they will restore all the default values also there is 
something pretty useful as well. Let's make a kind of preset here that I would like to use in my scene, for example. And let's say I close this UI or I close Max or change, uh, reopen the scene or anything. I can just go back into the helper here, reopen the UI, and my latest values are going to be there, okay, because they are stored in the, the, the helper itself. So that's uh, that's not a preset, that's just saving the, the current values, but you can create your own presets as well. Um, you can pick a custom gravity and change uh, its acceleration. This is new and this is working uh, like these forces. Uh, this is working live okay, during the simulation. You can uh, choose to use the ground collision. So that's the mass effects. That's the mass effects ground. So if you open the mass effects tool here, that's this checkbox and this ground height value. That's the same. Okay, and if you go into the helper, there are some improvements as well. Uh, you can select assets and uh, source objects into this list and turn uh, the copies into instances. Okay, so this new assets oh, I have to select all of them to be sure they are all instances okay so they are now turned into instances you can turn them to copies okay you can select all select copies Okay, or select the source objects. Let's say I just want to select this, these source objects. Okay, I would select those objects. I can display as box or display low res, val low res meshes or high res meshes. Okay, this is just changing the, the K-hole uh, switch value here. I can also collapse and clone and collapse uh, all these assets into one mesh, and these have been uh, improved as well. So it's it's way much it's much faster than it was to collapse uh, thousands of meshes. And that's it. Uh, make sure to watch all the other tutorials because they will explain more in depth uh, all the all the new features and all the new things. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.